So Brian, my final question for you is, we are already, I would say maybe halfway, five months already past 2024. So what are some of the job search strategies that you have seen it's trending in 2024? We know that networking is a big thing. Being on LinkedIn is a big thing. Is there anything new that you have seen in the US that we're not seeing here in Canada? No, oh, I, I think I think the probably the first thing that comes to mind when it when it comes to job search um, strategies is taking what is already proven and effective um, that we know, like uh, networking, like LinkedIn, and being able to energize it or really create a lot of um, or even automating um, through the use of AI. Yes, uh, I think that's the that's the cool part and the really really exciting part of of AI is is being able to, again, not it's not a standalone solution. It's not the thing mm -hmm. that's going to solve all of your problems and and connect you to an opportunity. It's not going to do the work for you, yeah. but it but it's such yeah. a tremendous <laughs> tool in your tool bag to be able to take what already exists and mm -hmm. and expand upon it and make it more effective um you know a really great example of this is um in, in the process of network i just i um I, i've told people to do this before but i i just didn't have such an efficient way to describe mm -hmm. it but i always tell people before you send a connection request to someone always you know personalize it yes personalize and, it and one of the things that can be such a, a powerful way to integrate AI into that is by taking an individual's profile, you can create a PDF from that profile or copy and paste. And um, from the content on that public profile, you can um, ask ChatGPT or Bard or Claude or whatever uh, platform that you like, um, you know, ideas about what would be an effective outreach um, content uh, to be able to position to this person? Mm -hmm. um, what would be a good um, opening statement that could capture their attention? And obviously, if you're doing the the research, you'll be able to put, uh, pinpoint those things. It just It's a time saver, right? Yeah. It just allows you to be able to kind of think about things uh, in uh, a little bit more efficiently and creatively. That uh, that maybe you hadn't thought about, maybe connecting this point to this point. Oh, I never haven't thought about that before. Yeah. What is a way that I could vet out add value to this yes. person from yeah, the yeah. very from the very first outreach? And so, prompting um, your AI tools to be able to um, to create those um, just gives you a depth of perspective that you know and, and other ideas. Yeah, I always say uh, maybe check the person's. Uh, uh, profile and what their content what they're posting maybe comment on that and then of, of course the person automatically will get a notification that someone commented on their post and in the uh, in the customized message you can say you you wrote an article or you wrote something about this i'm very much interested do you have five minutes to explore more or to chat more it's all about them not about you but this should be constantly not only during job search right because sometimes when um, job seekers are in the job search mood uh, they become kind of a desperate and they forget how to approach the relationship and it becomes more transactional and it should be a more natural relationship it's like uh, having a plan and taking care of the plan you know nurturing or watering maybe singing or maybe changing the direction where it is i love it i love it one other thing that i i can throw in that is absolutely related to that is a it's a strategy that I have uh, worked with my clients on before, and I never had a, t a term for it until I heard Austin Belsack speak about this mm -hmm. um, called the advice triangle. I'm not sure if you've heard about it, but essentially what you do with the advice triangle is in your outreach uh, yeah. to an individual that you don't know, one of the things that you want to do is utilize their expertise, mm. um, access them for actionable advice, make it easy for them with an option A or option B. Hey, you know, I came across um, your recent article on such and such. 
I think it's so interesting. I'd love to know, what would you do in this situation, this or this? Mm -hmm. And that draws them out with an yeah. easy ask. It's not an easy or it's not a difficult thing for them to do, but it yeah. also then provides what you're kind of talking about, which is an opportunity mm -hmm. for a follow-up. Yes. Because then you can say, hey, I did this. This is what I actually learned from it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to let you know these were my results. And it it allows that that conversation to continue. And continue. So, it is, so it isn't just a one-off. Yeah. Those are great tips, Brad. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. It was very practical tips. So for the audience, you can watch all the videos the whole week. You can comment, share, and if you have any questions, you can reach us to our socials. Again, Brad, thank you very much. And for the audience, tune in next time for another great guest. So for that, bye, everyone. Thank you.